Welcome back everybody to another episode of Grand Theft Auto. So today, <laughs> I know, I know, before you all say anything, your boy has been slacking on some videos and we gotta get some done. But as you guys know, my disc tray got uh, broken and um, I couldn't, I couldn't put any disc in. So unfortunately, all the games that I did have on disc were working, so... Unfortunately, as we're currently sitting as I'm recording my video right now, my actual GTA disc is still stuck in my PlayStation, which I can get out. I've just been too fucking lazy to get it out. So, I bought the digital copy today of this, uh, today is this recording, which you'll probably end up seeing it today of the recording because I gotta get a video out. So, it'll probably be a little bit longer, but today... I want to tell you about something a little bit something I've been thinking about this a little bit um, as I've been away I've been thinking about it uh, it's been crazy I'm thinking this will probably be a new addition and it's uh, definitely gonna be a new addition to my hangar so as you guys know if you guys followed me from since day one since I've done this stuff um, you guys will know that uh, I really enjoy my aircrafts my aircrafts are my aircrafts. I love them. I prefer aircrafts over... Why does my dude keep turning? Uh, so I prefer them over um, any other vehicle in the game over supercars, stuff like that. Which, you know, I'll probably end up down the road buying a supercar. Just one, just so if I ever decide to race with supercars, then I can. Uh, so that's going to be really fun. So anyways, stop. This is how you know my controller is busted, but... This is one one problem at a time here. So I had to buy GTA. So my next problem is to buy like Wildlands or like buy a new controller. I'll probably end up buying a new controller before that. So today we're gonna buy the 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 LF22 Starlink. I heard that it is the second best dogfighting plane in the game, next to the Pyro. The pyro, I'm not paying 400. I'm not paying 4.4 million dollars for it. I refuse to pay that much for a fucking pyro, mm -mm. just to use it for like you know one once or two times, which I know for a fact because a lot of my crew members do have the pyro, because usually if we encounter um, a jet or we encounter somebody that's a jet griefer, then we usually pull out a pyro and the pyro goes down just like that. So. What I wanted to do is, I wanted to, if you guys know, most of you probably already know, I'm a bomber. I like to bomb. I bombed a lot with my B-11, a lot, and I actually got pretty good at it, and then I stopped. So that's another thing I gotta start learning how to do, but the L, the reason why, here, let me explain as I buy this. So I'm gonna buy it, and we're gonna wait as it goes as it comes and I'll explain so the reason why I'm picking the LF because the agility it's small um, yeah it's not like a jet or anything but it is a jet because you got the boost it's got the bombs on it and it's got fairly good machine guns it can take down mainly a jet and it's pretty well armored so it's gonna be definitely a challenge on how I'm going to definitely fly it so Excuse my flying. I'm probably this is all gonna be just Learning and getting shit done. I'm just gonna walk around as I'm chit-chatting chit -chat with you guys so Basically that is gonna be my new aircraft that I am gonna get the hang of it and god damn that rain is so loud um, it's LJT. Yeah, so it is crazy that I'm actually trying to expand outside of like a new edition um, when I get into like when it shows up I will uh, 
yeah, I got a bounty of seven thousand dollars on me right now. But when it shows up, I'll give you a little bit of the hangar tour um, of what I got on the floor right now. Not so much in my storage because I don't really have that much. I got a couple of things in storage that, which are not that great. So, yeah, I'll give you a little tour of what, what's new, what I haven't shown you, that I haven't shown. I have to do, like, for a future episode, you know, um, for sure, I'm definitely going to, and damn, that rain is so loud, um, definitely uh, give you guys more of a tour. Not so much, like, I'll do, like, specific videos, like, air hangar tour, um, if I could do a video like I got so much shit and so much things to show you guys that I'm gonna have to split it up into like maybe three different parts maybe more but by the sounds of it my sterling just showed up so we're gonna walk on over and we're gonna see what was what the L F 22 sterling can provide us I'm just gonna basically um, start with like I don't know how I'm going to start. I'm just going to start with like flying around, getting used to it, getting the flying ability, you know, getting used to it. I heard a good pilot that flies this, it's going to, you're, you're definitely going to, uh, you definitely don't want to run out of boost, so you got to watch your boost. So right now, as it stands, I got three lasers. I got a black laser. Here, I'll go first person. I got a black laser and I'm walking because my controller's fucked up. I got my B11, which mo you've seen, you guys have seen, but if you haven't seen, that is my B11. I got my red laser, like that's my red, like that's pretty much what I have on all my vehicles, mostly all my vehicles. I got uh, a buzzer, a nice little buzzer right here, you know, I picked that up when it was free. Uh, at one point they gave you for free. I'm not sure when. My red Hydra. Uh, it's I don't really fly the Hydra too much, but before I could ever afford the laser, uh, I definitely um, the the Hydra was definitely more affordable than the laser. I got my Kula, which I usually use my Kula for like if I help out my friends or help out people like that like generally because I get some people in lobbies that. Um, that just send random invites out and sometimes if I'm not doing anything I'll help right if I'm doing like supply runs where there's vans and stuff like that my Akula is good for that because it's got gas bombs and the gas bombs don't explode on impact on vehicles they just release this toxic toxic gas so that is definitely a tool that I do use back in the day when I first started playing GTA on this character it was um Definitely, uh, I used to fly a lot, and some of my, uh, some of the people, like CK and Silver, and I think my, uh, uh, another crew member, Viper, that I used to play with, we used to fly helicopters all the time. They know that I used to fly a helicopter all the time, and that's all they used to do. So, we got the Rogue, which I'm not sure if I really want to keep it, but I may keep it just for the collection, and just for the looks. It's got uh, the explosive bombs on it, and then obviously the explosive cannons and the rockets. Nothing really special about that. You guys have probably already seen half these vehicles, but I'm just going to give you an up-to-date. I got a sea breeze. I got a really good trick to show you guys with the sea breeze, and it actually works with the rogue. That is going to be my next GTA 5 episode which I'm going to show you guys I'm not going to give you any hints or anything I'm going to show you a really cool trick that can actually uh, you control people with it for sure like jet griefers and all this kind of stuff all the the stuff that you don't really see coming but you know it's coming kind of thing that is my hint um, that's the only hint I'm going to give you guys <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's my sea breeze with the regular bombs. I love my sea breeze actually. Uh, the cannons on it are actually pretty good. I wouldn't recommend trying to shoot a jet down, but I mean it has been done. This is my Savage. This is the very first helicopter that I've ever bought in this game. I bought that when I was lo level twenty, and I'm level four hundred and thirty-four right now. So you guys tell me that was a long time ago. So. There's a pink jet. 
I uh, had to do one pink jet because uh, my old lady, she loves her pink. So I thought I would, you know, throw this in and, you know, she's probably going to be watching this. So she's going to see the nice little pretty, uh, pretty jet that I made for her. So we're going to go over here. And I'm assuming that it is in storage. Okay, so in storage, I got a cargo bob. I got Annihilator because back back previous on my channel I've done a role play with uh, with Annihilator that's on the yacht and all that kind of stuff. I got the Dodo. Uh, obviously, I got the Cuban 800 because the Cuban obviously comes with a hangar. The Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is the second helicopter that I've ever bought. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, fun. If I put that there, that's going to take my Savage away. And I don't really want that. That's going to take my Savage it's gonna take my hydro away so if anything I'm probably just gonna replace the buzzard with it because the buzzard is nice it fits like look at that I got a sea breeze in the middle I got the rogue on the side I got the little uh, the starling and then I got the big planes in the front and then I got the helicopters and then I got two other ones it actually works out perfectly all right so let's go see if you you know, for people that don't know what the Starling is customizations, I'm going to show you for the people that you do. Well, I am sorry this might be a little bit painful for you, but I do apologize. In a sense, I do apologize. Alright, oh, and the other thing is my hair. <laughs> so, I have a girl character on here. Uh, it's... She's, I don't use her too often. I was starting to use her before my disc tray got all fucky with me. And uh, every time you switch characters and you come back to your original character, your hair gets all messed up. So I haven't really changed it. So forgive me on my hair. Alright, so we're obviously... I spent 2 point what? 2.7? Something like that. 2.7. So I was at 12 million and I'm about 9 mil now. So I spent probably about almost close to 300 million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put flares on this. I don't know if I want to put chaff. I'm going to come back on that actually. I'm definitely going to put bombs. If you don't know what the bombs are and what they're capable of doing. Okay. The explosives, they're the cheaper ones, but they're the most accurate and they got a better explosion, but they don't have a big radius explosion. The incinerating bombs, they have the same damage of the explosive, but they release fire, which could cause, like, ground, if you're hitting ground targets, and somebody was, like, stupid enough to run into the fire, or accidentally run into the fire, then maybe, um, you might get a kill with that. Gas, mainly, like I said before, prior, um, use those for, like, your supply runs, and then cluster bombs, just, honestly, if you want to, get it in as an armored vehicle if you're going to hit armored vehicles you get that and hit that but i find the explosives they work just as much it's just the same but you have to do a direct hit and a dead on spot on hit instead of a cluster which cluster it's bigger explosion bigger radius but less damage than the explosive so personally i don't recommend any other one except for explosive if you're going to do some dive bombing or like just bombing from high altitude I, that's definitely going to be um, the handling I'm going to have to play with a little bit but to start I'm going to start with smooth handling because I got that with my uh, B11 for the bombs and it seems to work better for it I mean it may not be better for the bomb like for dodging missiles or turning quickly but I got the boost so I think I can you know compensate with the boost so um here are the liveries as i've been showing them as i've been talking um i'm gonna constantly i'm gonna go through them and see which one if i like them if i don't like them i'm probably just gonna keep them solid yeah i'm just gonna keep it solid <clears throat> no no livery i'm gonna go with like a dark color i'm probably gonna go with my red my red's a dark color but a light color in a sense so we're gonna go with my red we're gonna go secondary we're gonna make the bottom even Don't same color like see I wish you can tint the windows and make them darker in the aircraft so I'm like why not man why not 
So weapons, um, we're gonna put, obviously, we're gonna put some homing missiles on it. We have to deck it out. Uh, we're not gonna sell it. Uh, thrusters, that is a must. I'm gonna say I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on, like, I've seen a lot of positive feedback on, like, watching other videos and stuff like that with the thrusters and upgrading it. And it's well worth it. Everybody says it's well worth it, so we're going to do that. I don't even care how much money we spend today, but that's what we're going to spend today. So we spent... Um, you gotta get this right. Let me just exit nah, our craft workshop. Okay, so we spent it. probably... So we probably spent about $3 million, just Just shy over $3 million on this right now and that was the trade price that we did buy that I bought this so I think the actual price of it is like three million with the buy it now price and if you don't buy it now obviously there's the trade price so let's take it for a flight let's go see what this is about I'm gonna check it out um, I'm probably gonna do like a cop run get some cops after us and you know see how it goes maybe do some dive bombing stuff like that um, dive bombing with both things missiles and uh, bombs I've been really good at dive bombing with the bombs but uh, I haven't been really good at uh, dive bombing with uh, missiles so that is something that I do want to try and I'm thinking whatever view let me just Let me just give myself a scratch here. Hold on. Oh. All right. So I'm guessing thrusters is a X. Nope. That's shoot. Oh nope. Thruster is R three. Whoa. Okay. I mean, it's not a jet, but it's a glider, right? So like. That's your only source of your only source of uh Okay. Alright. So let's see the missile rate. Missile rate's alright. I mean it's not as fast as like the Akula or anything, but definitely I'm gonna have to get used to the whole boosting. But I think I could probably get used to that, in a sense. So we're gonna go up and see how it is. We are gonna go up. I want to try to get over to the airport because I don't really want to do it over to the um, base because that's just too much heat <coughs> with um, with uh, and then obviously your bombs. I didn't put any countermeasures on it. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. The reason why I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna think about it. Holy... We're pretty high up. Didn't realize we were that high up. Um, definitely gonna think about it a little bit. And we're gonna see how it goes. And check it out. Okay, I mean, I gotta get used to the whole, gotta get used to the whole bombing, like, dive bombing like that. Maybe we'll go over here, there's a beach over here, which is, there's a, um, like a, guard, um, lifeguard thing, I'm just not sure where it is, it's over here. I mean, missiles I'm going to have to get used to, but I think this is going to be a, definitely a new addition to my hangar for sure. Let's see how far they spread out. Oh, I can't do it because I ran out of room. Alright, let's check the bombs, see what happens. Okay. 
I gotta get used to the whole timing with this because uh, the timing is gonna be impeccable. So I'm gonna try to see to pick a a car here. A little early, a little early, but I mean, what can you do when you? Oh shit! That was risky business. That was risky business. Let's go on the front here. Oh shit. I hit a car there though. I hit a car. I should really get to learn how to... It's... See, I'm used to the constant speed. So I'll, I'll do the L to... The L, like, I'll have to do another update video on me bombing with the, the B11. I'm gonna have to do an update on it, but for sure, got ya. I'm the boost idea is ridiculous. Like I honestly don't think I will be like I gotta get used to it for sure. I got somebody there. If you heard the explosion, I got something. Got a car. I just couldn't see it because I went to cinematic instead of bomb view. Usually I'll try to go to a bomb view to show you guys what's good. That's not bad, not bad. Let's try a high speed bomb here. Hold on, let me rebuild. rebuild. See, I'm so used to bombing with speed. I'm not used to bombing with no speed at all which if you're a new bomber this is probably the best plane because I'm gonna know I'm gonna tell you out of experience it's um, definitely easier to bond like yeah it's easier to bomb at a slower speed but if you're if you're like me when you learn on something so something that's a little bit faster and it's a constant you know what I mean then a constant speed it's not like this so that cop just didn't even know it was coming so and but it's a lot easier to bomb for sure me personally it's not easier for me but like in all sense of reality I think it'd be easier because this is true f like a proven fact that um, let me just turn that off for a sec so you don't hear constant beeping um, the slower you go The slower you go, the better, um, the better, the, the, the smaller that, the smaller, the slower that the bomb is going to travel. I can't dive bomb like, like I, like, like I usually do. I can't seem to hit anybody with the missiles. I'm gonna try. Got one. I mean, it's really effective, like the dive bomb and like with the missiles. It's very, very effective when you have. When you have the, uh, when you're on ground, tar when you're shooting like actual players, for sure it is very effective because usually nine times out of ten ground, you could see, you could see the, uh, the players on the map, on the mini map, but like me, hold on.
me see if I go to settings, display. Camera, oh no, camera, 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 hood, there we go. It doesn't show the box though, which is really weird actually. Here, let me call. Let me call these guys off. Hi. What service are you looking for? Oh, hey. You're in trouble. Let me see how this okay. is. It should I'll be easy to land because, like, it's a small plane, right? It should be easy. We're just going to see, check it out, and see how easy it is to land. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. All right, it's fairly easy. I don't know why it's Third person cover off auto center vehicle. Yeah, usually it shows. Maybe, is it just me or like. It's not showing nothing. Like, nothing. It's a showing nothing. Oh, well that's that that there's a perfect camera view of my hair. Really ridiculous. I mean, it's not that bad, but I don't have short hair, so. Like So first person is definitely a no-go on that. Let me check cuz I don't know and maybe just me maybe if I back out my field of vision camera. Let me just figure this out for a minute here. See if I can figure it out. Maybe I don't think to be honest with you, I don't think it would be that because I can do that with the jet, not a problem. We'll have to check that out in a bit. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fly over to, um, I'm going to fly over to the military base, back to my hangar, and, uh, we're going to, uh, we might have to do this in third person, which I'm okay with, because, like, usually nine times out of ten I do everything in first per third person anyways, unless, like, I'm fighting somebody on the ground, then I do that in first person. So... I don't know how the boost recharges. I think it just recharges over time. I'm not sure how it recharges. But I know it recharges. I think it just recharges very, 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 very slow. Which you guys can see in the bottom. I know it's hard because I got the icons there. But you guys can see at the, the bottom with the yellow bar, it is slowly going up. Wonder if I let go of the gas. We'll go, yeah, it'll go up faster. It's like the rocket bike. Let's see what happens. If I don't hit the gas. Yeah, see it's going up a lot faster. Than if I was to hit the gas. If I hit the gas, it goes up slow, but if I don't hit the gas, it goes up a lot faster. For sure. I might crash this, so... Because I'm not used to the whole landing this one yet, and I'm still a little rusty. 
on how to land aircrafts because I have not played in a long time. But I do want to check. Yep. Yep. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, ten out of ten with that fucking crash. All right, so we'll call that back up. What I was gonna say was I will check and see if that aimer, that first person Orbital. aimer, how can I be of service? I'll look into it. Goes, um, goes like. It goes on. I might just whip out a jet or something, but I want to see if it goes on about it because if it's actually there with the jet. Because if it is there, then it's just maybe it's just a plane. I don't know. That is something that I'm very uncertain of. But if anybody's watching and you've made it this far into this episode and this video, then if you feel feel free to drop a comment down below and kind of let me know. See if you if you guys know, let me know on what's what's going on. I think I'm gonna put chaff on this because the chaff breaks the lock, but not so much the chaff is deployed for countermeasures to block incoming missiles, missile lock on capacity ten. So I might just put the chaff on it. I don't think I think the handling we should probably put to sports just to give it a little bit more oomph like I was okay like let me let me let me explain a little bit for my in my opinion I could turn not a problem but it still felt like it was just like a lot it was like turning a boat sideways with the smooth and I don't really want that. I want a little bit of a jerkiness with it, but I don't want like race handling jerky. So I might just buy that just to see how it fits, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will test it out and do all that by my afterwards. I just want to quickly jump in like the, um, I know it, ha I know the laser. So you know what? We'll jump in the pink laser. Actually, we'll jump in the pinky. We'll jump in the pinky in the brain. Well, pinky's right here and brain is over there at the front. I think the red one is going to be named brain and this one's going to call pinky. I got to actually come up with names after all this with all these planes. So let me get out of here. I'm not using the laser, so this is something that I'm not using, but I have gotten really good at using the laser. Okay, so it is work. So it does work. Yes, so it does work for this one, so it's definitely the Starling, so that's my opinion, so we'll see, we'll see, so we'll see, I'm really excited for it, but honestly, if I have to rate it, I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to give you a test now to see what the handling is like now. I'll test it later on, probably off screen, just to play with it because I'll probably do a little bit of, you know, back and forth. But uh, there will be at one point where I'll come to a conclusion on what I want and what I'm going to do. So I'll probably let you guys know on that. So for this, for this Starling, I, you know what, I would give it an 8 out of a 10. I haven't tried it in a dogfight because I'm currently as day of recording this is I don't have anybody with me to do it with or to do the dogfight with so we're gonna have to try that and see how that goes and see how the uh, dogfighting goes but that might be another episode and another time but uh, for sure I'd say about I, I give it an 8. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for sure. Mind you, like, yeah, I'm a little not, I got to get used to the thruster and how the plane flies, but the whole thruster aspect is very new to me because I'm used to, like, jets or the B-11, per se. 
so it's a constant speed it's not just burst 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 but with flying practice it will be a lot better so what I am going to say is that this next episode if you've gotten this far in the video which you know most of you probably have most of my subscri uh, subscribers have probably got this far this is gonna be my next episode this and the rogue and I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you why but I'm mean, gonna give you a hint it is gonna be something where you can con um, you control griefers with something that you can see coming and something that you can't see coming but you just know it's coming so you'll have to stay tuned for that and uh, the rogue the rogue for the next one I'll explain a little bit later um, I'll explain in the next video why but there's what I'm gonna do so thank you for watching this is where I'm gonna wrap this up today's video so thank you for watching I do appreciate it and thank you for staying tuned for you know staying with me for you know all the stuff that I had to do I had to just quickly relapse uh, quick thing of everything that I've gone through I've gotten through two upper wisdom teeth done and one bottom lower wisdom teeth pulled and within about a two month period so I do appreciate for all the people that you know all you guys that stuck around for that and I do appreciate that thank you very much to all my subs and everybody that and and, and viewers and listeners out there you know because I do have some viewers that just watch that don't that don't sub and all that kind of stuff but uh, if you guys really want to see if you guys want to see more of the starling or more of like the the bombing aspect like I can always jump in the B11 too the B11 or the Starling. If you guys want to see me actually bomb players or even the jet, like any of these aircrafts, let me know in the comment section too. Let me know. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on what you guys want to see. I think I got jets, B11, Starling. I'm not going to, well, if the Hydro 2, Sea Breeze, and the helicopters, those are more than I can do. I definitely, if you want to see helicopters, I can definitely do that too. So if you guys want to let me know, let me know. If you guys don't want to and you guys just want to stick around and watch and see what I got and what I'm going to do for the next episode, that is more than cool with me. But until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.